Hi guys, uh, today I am reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and to start off I apologise for not uploading in quite a while I've just not been asked to do it, to be honest but, um, and I need to warn you now that this is big spoilers in this uh, review so if you haven't seen the movie or you don't want to know any spoilers I would not watch this video um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, let's start off with the acting first. We'll start off with Chris Pratt. And I thought his acting was good. Uh, of course, uh, Star-Lord, jokey character. So, uh, it's not an emotional, needy character to play. Where, even in this film, it was quite. It was okay acting. I've probably seen better with Chris Pratt, but I didn't particularly like his acting when he saw his father, well, Star-Lord's father, because it just felt quite... I don't know. I don't know how you can really do a shocked face. I don't know. To be honest, it's not my personal place to judge it, but for some reason I just didn't like it. Um... Then we go on to uh, Zoe Saldana, who is, of course, oh god, wow, I'll think of it later, probably, hopefully, um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I really loved her acting, it's quite an emotional um, character, especially when it comes to her sister Nebula, um, it was quite emotional. Uh, especially a bit more of a backstory for her and her sister, which made it so good. Um, and I really do like her. I like her in all of um, the Star Trek movies, like the newer ones. And um, she... I just like her in general. Um, and then we go on to uh, Nebula, Karen... Uh, Givan or Gilvan. Sorry if I get any of these names wrong, which I might. Uh, she was great. Her character was very emotional to play. But I loved it. And uh, I love the character. The way she looks is just great too. And that's all I can say about her too. Mantis. Pom. Might get this name wrong. I'm sorry if I do. Clementeeth. Um, I thought she was great. Her acting was brilliant for the character she was playing. The the character was uh, kind of seemed so vulnerable and so unknowing. It, it was great to watch. I kind of felt sad around watching that character be the way it is. And I, I, I loved it. And, um... Drax, who's Dave Bautista, uh, really entertaining, probably one of the most entertaining characters in the entire movie, he's so funny, the laugh is great, I, all, all in the trailers, but his laugh is just great, um, and finally Vin Diesel, Groot, uh, I just love, um, how he does the voice. I don't know whether that's like computer generated voice or if that's actually him. I doubt it's fully him, but it could be. But if it is, how does he do it? Because that just it just sounds great. It really is. Um and then now uh CGI I thought it was very beautiful. I thought it was at the standards to Doctor Strange and everyone knows who's seen the movie, that Doctor Strange is probably one of the highest and most beautiful CGI quality ever made, probably in all film, but definitely can be said for uh, Marvel films. Um, then character development, I thought all the characters grew in their own way and became more powerful mindset and ability wise and um it's great to watch all of them grow and become closer as a whole and more like a family uh 
Then next we have the ending, which I, I thought was very um, nicely done and quite, um, quite emotional. Uh, especially because uh, this is spoilers, big spoilers here. Um, at the end, someone dies. And there is a massive funeral um, for the character who dies. I would give you the character, but I can't remember the name. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that character dies, so... Uh, it's a very emotional time and you there is a gathering in space with different spacecraft and they have fireworks and they burn the body and it's beautiful well of course it's not beautiful but it's a beautiful scene very emotional and very very well done even though I've already said both of them twice uh, I have to say especially now, Groot, of course, my favourite character, or baby Groot, so cute, it's, it's basically unbearable. The, the creators, or the designers, that thought of his costume, his design, just everything, <laughs> it's great. And um, I was going R all the way through the film, and all... When he cried, I, it was so emotional. And, well, okay, there's one point where he gets bullied and I think I cried. And well, I don't know if you can see me right now, I feel like I'm going to cry again. But he was bullied by some spacemen. To be honest, I'm not up to speed with all the names and stuff, but he was bullied by them. Kind of, like, kicked around and, oh. He came all sulking. It, oh, it was beautiful. Beautifully done, I'll say. Not beautiful. Uh, but t I just think Baby Groot as an entire character was great. When he was angry, it was cute. When he was sad, it was cute. When he was crying, it was outstandingly cute. And I, I don't think I've seen one character stir up so much attention in any movie besides maybe Wolverine that's debatable uh, bring up so much enthusiasm and like heat and basically build up so much anticipating that it cr creates a beloved character which is probably everyone's favourite I'll say that I but in my opinion, I'd say that Baby Groot has got to be everyone's favourite. But post in the comments who your favourite character is. Um, I'm now starting a new rating system for all the movies that I watch. And uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, I give a 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I think it's a pretty good score. Overall, it was a brilliant film. Great. Just great. Loved it. Uh, compared to the first one, I think this one's more emotional. But I think it was better. Might get a few people that enjoyed the first one more. But personally, I believe that the second one is definitely more entertaining than the first. So, thank you for watching. This was my review of Guardians of the Galaxy. Volume 2. I hope you enjoy.